Hi, I'm Liz Larson. And I'm Leah Larson. And we're here with a Thanksgiving design that actually could be used any time of the year. This particular design is great for you pros out there because it's quick. I'm going to show you how to do some 70s style sunflowers, keeping with the 70s style Snoopy. And Leah's going to show you how to do some figure piping. Let's get started. I'm going to do a quick border on the side with my rose tip. You can see I've got the skinny part down and the fat part up. And I'm just going to do a zigzag. It'll go along with our 70s vibe and our peanuts vibe. So just an up, down. And just kind of blend it in when you get there. It does not need to be even. Just kind of a up and down, up and down all the way around. Okay, next we're going to do two big flowers. You want one here and one here just to mark out. They're going to take up more than half of the cake. They're also really big. We want to leave a space here for our centers. And you can see that I'm making room for them to go over lapping on the border. So you guys have seen me do sunflowers a lot of times. This is going to be a little different. We're kind of doing that 70s style. So we're just even pressure, squeeze out and back, out and back, out and back. You want to make it straight out and back so that it's not a pinwheel. You don't want it to swerve to the side at all. Make sure you're just straight out and back. Okay, then we're going to come back with a second layer, much shorter. Now, if you don't have an airbrush, come back and do the second layer in orange. But we're kind of aiming this at you pros so we can show you how to do a lot in a short period of time. See how quick this cake is. These flowers are going to be pretty impressive looking because they're so big. So we're just going to spray here in the middle. I'm going to show you how to do that. You want to turn your pressure down if you can on your airbrush to about 10 pounds of pressure. And just start here in the middle and work your way out. And you're basically just warming up your sunflower and you can give it as much color or as little around the outside edges as you want. Remember, we're kind of going for that 70s vibe, so let it splash over a little bit onto the outside. Next, I just have a leaf tip. You can see the V kind here. This is a number 70. And I've just striped my bag with black on one side and brown on the other and white in the middle to do our sunflower seeds. This is a really fast way to get that color that you want and you're just gonna squeeze them in a circle. All lined up though, don't move your bag around like this, just all one way. If you look at a sunflower, that's kind of the way they go. If you want a darker seed, just add brown instead of the white or you could even add yellow. You can also even just use chocolate chips in the middle here and that'll save you even a little bit more time. So over the holiday season, what you're going for is speed here. If you're working in a shop, you wanna be able to do this cake in less than 10 minutes. And it's really easy to do if you use some of these techniques.
So I'm using the same figure piping tip and I'm going to add his sign now. So it's pretty big and it kind of covers a little bit of his body. You can write Happy Thanksgiving, you can write whatever you want. Now the very last thing I'm going to do is add his fingers. So just three little, or paws I should say. Well, that was fun and easy. I'm sure you can see how quick that it was. Decorators, I want to tell you, make sure that you practice your character on the counter or on a tray first. Many times, make sure that you get it right. So when you put it on top of your cake, it's going to be just perfect. Also, when you're figure piping, make sure to use as little moves as possible so that you don't mess up your character. Yeah, that's true. In figure piping, the fewer strokes the better. If you keep that in mind, you'll have a great character. Also, a trick that Re Leah really uses a lot is pull up the image on your phone and you'll see all kinds of different types of that same character and you can choose one that lends itself well for you to figure pipe. So you can find me at The Art of Frosting on Facebook where decorators just like you from all over the world are sharing their work. Please join us there. It's The Art of Frosting on Facebook. You can find me at www.theartoffrosting.blogspot.com where there's a full body of my work, Leah's as well, as well as other decorators from around the world. And where can we find you, Leah? Uh, you can find me on my own channel. Uh, just look up Leah Larson and I come up. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Leah's Crazy Cake Lab. And uh, you can find me on my blog, The Uncensored Life of Leah. And you can find me here. So we'll see you all again next time. We'll have more peanuts and more quick designs for the holiday. See you all again soon. Bye.